Joseph Frenzel, Algebra II Honors, Pre-Calculus, AP Calculus AB, AP Calculus BC, Atlantic Coast High School. Right. You need to look at this integral and compare it to this integral. Okay. Last time or the time before, what does this integral represent? Long time ago, um, I was in seventh grade in a pre-algebra class, and that was the first class in, of math that really fascinated me. Um, things in that class were very different than I had experienced in math classes before the seventh grade. So that was my first hook onto math. Um, but in general, I think everyone has something they're naturally good at. And for me, I was naturally good at school. So the combination of liking school and loving math um, just led me in the path of becoming a teacher. Ten plus one wouldn't work. Why not? Would it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I got. Got something. Five plus C. There we go. I have been blessed to have a number of incredible teachers and professors over the years, and somewhere inside of me is all of them. Um, but I think everyone has gifts that they're born with, and I think one of mine is being able to take something that's complicated, like calculus, and make it understandable for kids. I've had Mr. Fenson on for two years, so it's definitely everything he does builds on each other, and it really, it's hard for some people to understand math, but he makes it seem easier. Make yourself a flashcard for displacement, total distance, average velocity, average acceleration, average speed, future position. Um, math in general is a subject that people are often fearful of. And when they come into class, I do not want them to be fearful. They need to know that this is something that they can do. Yes, calculus is not easy. But if you stick with what I'm asking you to do, and you work together, and you get with my program, you will be successful. And so getting them to that belief can sometimes take time, but it's important that I show them that they can do it. And that if you work at it, and you stick with it, and you do what I ask you to do, then it'll work out in the end. Um, in terms of you know, the atmosphere in class, you know, I want kids to smile. I want kids to talk about the math that they're learning. When I'm walking around the room and they're debating about how to do a problem, um, that gets me excited because I know they're connecting. I know they're starting to get the material. And if they can explain why they're learning something to another student, then they're actually reinforcing it in their own mind. The liveliness in our classes is usually from the chemistry, I guess, from Mr. Frenzel and then the way he relates to the students. So we're all one big family, so, and we enjoy math class. In class, it's not me as the teacher and them as the student. It's all of us together. Um, we're working as a team. We're working as a family, for lack of a better word. And I think when they see me as a teacher that way, it makes them immediately more comfortable in terms of being in this high-level math environment. Um, they need to know that I'm there for them, um, whether it's academic stuff, school stuff, or even non-school stuff, you know, applying for colleges or dealing with family issues or whatever. They need to be comfortable enough if they want to come talk to me that they can. If they have a question about math, they need to feel comfortable asking me questions about math as well. So they need to see me as not just teacher, but as a person beyond teaching. So which rocket is faster? This one. Which is rocket? B. Okay, so you so say, explain that. So no, just say rocket B. All of this is all of this is good for your explanation. Well, when they leave my class, um, if I want them to remember anything about me, I guess it would be a couple things. One, um, that I cared about them extremely. Two, that they learned, and, and I guess three things. Um, three, that they can leave this room knowing they have the tools to be successful in whatever math class they want to go forwards in. I mean, I've never had a kid come back and say, you didn't prepare me. They always go out of the room and take whatever other math class they have, whether it's here at school or at college, 
they know they have what it takes to be successful in the next level of math that they do. So if they can remember those three things, um, I'm extremely proud of all of them, and I know they'll do well in whatever they choose to do.